Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows as a collective figure card for the next seven days. Three piles, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Take a deep breath, choose from the heart, pause the video if you need more time. We're going to get started with pile number one. Hey guys, for those of you who chose pile one, this is your reading. These are general messages. It is collective. Take what resonates for a personal reading. Moonlight Shadows 1111 at gmail.com. Your first card that you have, okay, the tower. Something significant could be happening that is very unexpected, a shock, something you were not wanting to see. I'm also, I saw a fly in my mind's eye. So something negative, someone could be causing problems in your financial situation. Someone at a distance could be doing spell work is what I'm getting here. It's like there's someone who's upset. They're trying to cause drama um, with your money. It's like your work. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to work. They want you to feel overwhelmed, burdened. Some of them are actually wishing that everything in your life dies and is put to the rest is what I'm hearing. With the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles, I feel like you have a stable career, stable job, stable relationship. You have stability in general because you are very gifted, you're very intuitive, and you have like the... um. Like, you have mastered some type of spiritual um, intelligence, like a spiritual guru. Like, you are protected. And with karma, justice here, whoever is trying to hurt you is going to be getting karma for sure. Like, they cannot affect you. This could be a player that knows you're in a stable relationship and they want to come in your energy. This person could also be spiritual. They could have been your divine counterpart at one point, but they ruined it. With Page of Swords, this person is spying. I'm getting, like, X vibes here. Yeah, with Ace of Wands, this person wants to come back because they want to sleep with you. With the Knight of Wands, they just want to... Oh, okay. I said they just want to hit it and quit it. Um, with the Knight of Swords, or King of Swords, excuse me, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy here. Um, that is watching you be productive. That's watching you work and just focus on yourself. And they're very mad. They don't want you to have money here. It's like you have gone within... I'm sorry guys there was like an interruption you guys could be saying things is what i'm getting you've gone within you've done the spiritual work you also have an energy a deity here a spirit an entity helping you your summons papa like by who's opening the roads of stability with a blessing aquarius energy because you've reached out for help and they are here this person at a distance is causing an imbalance in your life to your happiness, but you're going to be okay. This is someone that you have a past life, a karmic. They're having a hollow victory. Definitely a Gemini and Aquarius here. They're not well in the head, 222. Two, two. They have some type of mental imbalance. They try to bind you to them, and it did not work because you are strong, loving, and nurturing. You're this beautiful divine feminine energy, daughter of Oshun for some. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. You could have those placements. This person tried to keep you stuck in December is what I'm hearing. But with the Six of Wands, you have positive movement forward. Um, some of you guys are giving birth or you could be pregnant. Libra, Taurus energy. But I'm also getting you have a mother figure who is protecting you, Pow One. Um, it could be a grandmother, a past a loved one. You have a relative who's passed away who is protecting you. For some of you, Sleeping Beauty is a significant Disney movie. But you have a lot of love. Your love is protected. Your, this feminine energy is protecting your love. And making sure that no one and nothing is going to break this union because it's divinely guided that your blessings are protected whatever you are giving birth to a new job a career a relationship whatever this is that's near and dear to your heart pile one if someone is trying to cause disruption they can't they're going to have a hollow victory they will be defeated they will not succeed because you are meant to have these blessings and no one can take your blessings from you if you see anything weird or like something awkward pray connect to archangel michael ask him to banish the negative energy and um continue to do your protection um rituals is what i'm hearing if you need a reversal candle you can reach out to me moonlight shadows 1111 at gmail.com as well as for a personal reading so let me know if that resonates um comment below please like and subscribe and we're gonna get into pile number two. hey pile two if you chose this pile this is your reading the next seven days it is collective take what resonates if you want a personal reading moonlight shadows 1111 at gmail.com Pile two, this is your reading. Positive movement forward. It's like you've called in the troops. You could have been seeing a Pegasus. That is very significant for some of you. Um, with the Ace of Swords, I feel like these are your archangels coming towards you. I'm also getting you have someone who is very focused to approach you with important information that's going to bring you a lot of like happiness. There's something about communication coming really fast at you. I'm also getting you are very driven to take action to pursue something. Okay, so I'm also getting someone coming towards you is to give you a message of love. You have love coming. They are here. Um, a beautiful blessing from the divine. You have, like, I heard you have money coming in, an offer of stability. If you are wondering about a relationship, are they going to commit? Yes. 
Ruby is very significant for you. For some of you, that could be your name. But I feel like there is someone coming to tell you that they love you. This one, Okay, this person wants a new beginning. Wow. Pile two. Someone will be coming towards you that really loves you, that really cares for you. The majority of you do have a relationship that will be going to the next level. 111, trust your intuition. They want to start fresh. They've gone through a transformation. They're really into you. I just heard Pocahontas, that song where it's like, you paint with all the colors of the wind. This person is really into you. You guys could be total opposites is what I'm getting, but this person really is genuine with the full card. This is a new beginning, a new chapter in your life. Very exciting, positive energy. This person is coming towards you to take that leap of faith, to tell you that they love you, that they want to take things forward. They really care about you. They want you in their life. And the answer is yes. So this is very, very exciting. Pile two, if you chose this pile, you have a relationship for sure. So that's what I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. We're going to get into pile number three. Hey, pile three, if you chose this pile, this is your reading. This is a general messages, so trust your intuition, take the messages that resonates, and the ones that don't, ignore them. So let's see, pile three, what is coming this week for you, next seven days? You can be fe feeling conflicted. I heard you feel trapped between two people, two energies, two decisions. It's like you see the truth of both, and at the same time, you don't want to accept it. The way her feet are like like curled up on the top of this, I don't know what this is, but the way her feet are up here, it's like... She's almost like, I don't know what to do. Like, nope, I don't want to see the truth about this situation. I really like both people or I like both situations, both of my options. I want both of them. You have to make a decision, pile three. There's a decision here that needs to be made. There's an offer here from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Definitely trusting your intuition. Someone also feels that you're keeping secrets from them, even though they're not really talking to you okay because i feel like the two of swords is also giving me i am not communicating you could have had a water sign reach out to you but you're not talking to them and they're wondering like what are they hiding what's pile three hiding from me you have someone upset that you ghosted them oh my god for some of you For some of you, you have a water sign who's reaching out and you ghosted them and they want to know why. They're afraid you found someone else and you have, you don't talk to them, but this person is intuitive and they're like, wow, Pal 3 didn't text me back or Pal 3 didn't call me back. That means they don't care about me anymore and I really was hoping that we could like take this connection to the next level, but Pal 3 isn't even giving me the time of day. Maybe Pal 3 found someone else. You have someone feeling conflicted over you because they like you. They want to get to know you. I'm also getting you are in this energy of meditating. And you're getting messages from the divine. A grandfather, uncle, masculine father figure is coming through um, to connect with you. To help give you messages intuitively. But um, the first storyline is very strong. Someone is mad that you're not reaching out, but it's almost like this person feels conflicted that you don't want to talk to them and they think you have somebody else and that upsets them. But it's almost like they did this to you. Like when you were wanting to talk to them, they didn't give you any attention. And now all of a sudden they want you to like jump as soon as you t they text you. Like, no, like get out of here with that nonsense, you know, like... <laughs> You're blocking out anything that does not serve your highest good. You're trusting your intuition. You're only receiving offers that are genuine. You're surrounding yourself with people who love you. With the King of Cups, you have love from a masculine energy in spirit as well as in person. This could be a relationship or an actual father figure, someone who's genuine. But I'm also getting um, the ocean is important. I'm hearing Apollo for some of you. Neptune. You're not believing any illusions is what i'm seeing so trust your intuition pile three that's what i have for you please like and subscribe comment below and i send you many blessings bye guys